we're leaving Fredendal now and it's clearly got all its ducks in a row. Definitely. Oh no, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. I'm glad we came to Fredendal. So did I. It was an interesting visit. If you look at the map, you'll see that we've just left Friedendal and we are heading around back to the N7 and taking the N7 all the way up to Garis. And we're going to explore Garis and we're going to be sleeping there tonight. My first time. My first time too. I think once before, many moons ago, we drove through Garis on our way to Ograbis. That was in the 90s. Uh, uh, can't remember. Yep, long time ago. We've just stopped on this bridge that crosses the Sout River, or the Sout River, and there's a rail bridge that crosses this bridge that crosses the Sout River. Quite cool. Uh, quite interesting to know that the sign in yeah. Fredendal said the um, Clan William Dam was 70% full. Wouldn't it be cool if a train just came over here right now? Yay! I would love that! <laughs> This looks cool, eh? Wow! Ontwikkelingstrust. Ontwikkelingstrust. Development trust. Oh, it's closed. I wonder what it's for. Do you think it's some like tourist attraction type of thing to explain what the Greek was we're doing here in the past or something like that? A cultural centre? Yeah, something like that, yeah. I don't know, there was clearly a sign up here and here. That one is faded, that one is, was, was removed. I have no idea what this was. I'm sure this must have been, like you say, a cultural centre. Such a pretty place. Oh, very cool. This is the Swart Doering River or Sprite or whatever they call it now. But look at the old bridge. This is the new one. And this is the old one. I would love to know how old this is. Wind still blowing all day. I would love to know when this old bridge was built. Yeah, there's no indication. And here, yeah, this one also not. No date on the new bridge either. Yeah. We've just crossed over the border from the Western Cape into the Northern Cape. And Welcome in Namakwa District Municipality. Nice, wow. <laughs> Back in the Northern Cape. Back in the... I, I, I'm so happy, I enjoy the Northern Cape a lot. Me too, it's been a few months. So yeah. 30 to go. Yep. I can feel how warm the wind is. Crazy. Yesterday. <laughs> Garis, heart van Namakwaland. It was an accident. <laughs> in a hurry to get into Garis. I tried to figure out what the name means and I believe it's Khoisan for Couch Grass. Couch Grass? Yes. Last time I said we've been here before, what I actually meant is we, on our way to Ogravis, we must have driven past here, but never been into the town. Okay. It's like most of the little towns, you always just fly by. Especially 20 odd years ago. Yeah. <laughs>
hotel. I have to go in here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's unfortunately no shade to park here. That's fine. So what is the Sasa's building? Yeah, and it, it almost looks to me like it should be the magistrate's Definitely, court. I agree. <laughs> it's got, that, it's got that look to it. That eh? justice look, Yeah, it right? does. It does. 
And so this is the magistrate's offices or the courthouse. Yeah, right next to Sasa. Unfortunately, this is closed now. Daisy Land Tourism. So this is the Garish Caravan Park. Used to be. Which does lead one to believe that this was a holiday destination. Definitely, yeah. In the past. But all the bri facilities are still yeah. Looks as if they still get used. By locals most likely. I just don't think. There's yeah. much camping going on. And this gate goes to the sports field, but I'll come back to that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think much camping goes on here. Got enough water tanks. Yep. Yeah. Can we take a drive through past the what must have been the ablution facility? Yes. Once again, it would be interesting to know when last they received visitors, camping, yeah. overnight campers. Exactly. Yeah, when was the last time people were camping here? That would be interesting to know. Gents and ladies. There were a lot of camping sites here. The bries are still standing. Okay, those breakers have been taken out. The wires are still there, but the breakers are gone. <laughs> this one could be revived, you know. I feel this one could be revived. I'm not with you, eh? <laughs> It's a project, but it could be you. It could be done. Yeah, but will they get visitors? That's the question. That's the million-dollar question. Will they get a return on their investment? I think this is a nice camping site here on your own. Yeah, under the shade trees. Yeah. Look at all these huge trees. Have all died, eh? Yeah. Very Could also dry, be yeah. to, due to drought, yeah. Oh, looks very dry. Check out the sports field. These buildings still look very neat to me. No, definitely. You can see all the white markings on the rugby field. It's as if they have played here recently. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, it hasn't rained in years. <laughs> oh, there's a kitty cat. These are all locked up. There's two kitty cats. Oh, mommy. 
Three kitty cats. Four kitty cats. Wow, sir. Cider Kreis. Nibbles. Oh, that must have been the sponsor. Sponsor, yeah. Cider Kreis Nibbles, I would imagine, is long no more. <laughs> if you look at how old that sign is. I think they do play friendlies and stuff here. Neighboring towns, maybe. Can one play rugby? Won't they like? get badly hurt on the surface. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't know. But eh? they play rugby, they're tough young. They'll play rugby on this. Wow, it's sad. There is no grass, I was no. right. Yeah. <laughs> Very hot and dry, eh? Very. Okay. Yep. Always interesting to see what was in a town's past. Yep. How cute is this? They've put a lot of effort into this garden, eh? A collection of interesting memorabilia. That's for sure. Even a wagon? Yeah. I see they say caravan parking, so I suppose they may have a few campsites. Yes. Big house? Very big. That's Reformed Church. Oh, the gate is closed. Yeah. I wonder what these are, oh, they're cute. And it's on the church grounds? Looks like it, eh? Yeah. They are quite cute. They are very cute. Whoa, something burnt down there. Wasn't it in the news recently that a school burned down? Oh, yes. That must be it then. This says emergencies, so is this some kind of medical facility? Hospital used to be? Yeah. Used to be. Most probably used like to be. It's like accommodation now, yes. Yeah. This was definitely. It's a big building that burned down here. Yeah. Wow, but it must be it. It was in the news fairly recently. Yeah. <gasps> Look at the old stone building. Is that the one building? Yeah. Oh, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Look at <gasps> this. Garis. Let, there's a board. Let's see what this is. Yeah, high school. It was 80 years old in 2018. Wow. This is hot so. No, really. So they haven't really discovered what caused it. I thought it was because of uh, protests, but they say they haven't found out what caused the fire. Well, I mean, I, I quickly did a, an online search now, so I haven't done an extensive search. But they say that at the, at the time of these articles being written, they yeah. hadn't established the cause yet. And it happened in September. Yeah, of 2022. Of 2022. Yeah. But listen to this. The administration block, 11 classrooms and ablution blocks were completely destroyed. What remained were the school hall, two classrooms only, the woodwork room, a storeroom, and an unused ablution block. Now you tell me, is, are these temporary classrooms for them now, you think? It could be. 
because they were scrambling to make alternative arrangements. Let's go drive past them. They were scrambling to make alternative arrangements because um, Patrick had to write exams and stuff. So one of the boys says that it was arson. That was the last they heard. Oh, okay. And this is the hostel. And these are all the temporary classrooms that were erected after the fire. So Crazy. they at least made a quick plan. They made a quick plan, yeah. Yeah. But still, that fantastic building is destroyed. Yeah. And it'll take a lot to get that fixed up again. So how I figured out there where the classrooms are, that's by the boys' hostels, and I think these are the girls' hostels. It looks right. Yeah. Letter clip, we're going to try and get there. <laughs> Into the sun. Do you have to ask permission? No, I have to just ask if we can quickly go up the letter clip. Sounds cool. Yeah. Permission granted. <laughs> so, letter clip is... It comprises several enormous, megalithic, whatever that is, boulders, on top of a hill, carrying okay. the names of early Namakwa land travelers. Oh, how cool. That's going to be cool, eh? Who it is claimed used it as a post office. That's going to be so cool to see. Check it out. Directly into the sun. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We can't help for that. Yeah. Another gate. No, well, this is the first gate. Yeah, but I've done many gates on our trips. To me, it's another gate. This is gorgeous. Look at that big marble on the right. What? Look how it's balanced. The sunlight is just perfect for it. How gorgeous is this? And this is where they used it as a mail system? <laughs> they say so, they say, yeah, they used it as a post office. That is wild. Absolutely stunning, eh? Huge is the understatement. There's Garis from Letter Club.
What can I say about this? This was exciting. This was fantastic. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm so glad he could. <laughs> the gentleman heard us. Yes, I had to kick him out the shower. <laughs> No, I'm happy we came in here. This was gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. I just like always picture the guys camping there, making fire, and sleeping over. So you say it says 04. It has to be 1904. It has surely, to be right? 1904. And there's another one that said 02. But it just looks old. I don't know. I just Maybe I'm wishing it to be old. <laughs> yes, I don't blame you. <laughs> What a great stop. Yeah. Let's go get our food. And check in, I think. Yep, time to check in. Cooper Kettle Restaurant. This is where we got our supper. Uh, four, three toasted ham cheese and tomato sandwiches and one chicken mayonnaise. Our trusted. And it seems nice and fresh. I just want to show you what it looks like inside. <laughs> so there's one building we've been skipping the whole time and we've been up and down this main road about 10 times and that's our guest house, the Gary's guest house and this is where we are staying tonight. Fantastic. So and nice. We are staying in Odirbara Dung, I oh, think. really? Okay. Which is the one right in front of us. Yes. If I understood her correctly, we'll see. Hey, and we've got the warthogs, brilliant. And a lion, love it. So we thought we were in Odirwara Dung, but we're not. We're in Yenang Bay. Same thing, same building. <laughs> There's a braai. Yenang Bay is braai. We've got our own braai, but I'm not going to use it. This is our supper for this evening. As I told you earlier, this is what we bought at the Cooper Kettle, the ham, cheese and tomato toasted sandwiches and chicken mayo. We're a little tired today. The temperatures were killing us. 41 degrees Celsius, that was hectic. So we're gonna call it a night. We are really bushed. The heat got to us today, but it's fun in the Northern Cape. So we'd like to say good night and we'll see you in the morning. Well, this morning we're having coffee in Garis. And this is, we're going to be sitting on our tiny little porch, enjoying the view of Garis going by.
So this is where we spent the night last night, at the Gurry's guest house. They're pretty cool. Take a walk around inside and show you. It's pretty organized, that's where we spent the night last night. I'm sure it's going to be over 40 again today. How's these cool briars over here? And with all the... Got quite a lot of rooms here. Really organized. Really nice. So that was it. Spent the night in Garis. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. Our accommodation was really nice. You were like out cold <laughs> within a second of your head hitting the pillar. <laughs> I know. I don't know if I've seen that before. No. Pretty bush last night. Let me just close this gate. And then with load shedding hitting a 10. Wow. The air conditioner couldn't work. But I didn't even feel that, I was out. <laughs> oh no, I felt every minute of those two hours. It was hot. Petrol time. So we're all juiced up. Ready for the road. Ready for the road. This petrol attendant, yeah, we just spoke to him about the heat yesterday. Because I'm already sweaty. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's already hot. He says that um, it was 41 degrees yesterday, but that's exceptional he says it doesn't normally he says it's going to be about 31 32 today but it was really really cooking yesterday but he also says they're used to it yeah they can deal yeah. with 40 41 but i couldn't i mean i had shivers chills <laughs> goosebumps everything last night so i think it, it really got to me yeah. i'm not used to 40 degree heat no of course it, no. Was, it was quite rough yeah. yeah but an interesting visit to garis you know i've heard about garis so much I'm so happy I saw it.